everyone. I am Nikita Rose of TKM College of Engineering and I am here to explain the working of a series voltage regulator. A series voltage regulator is used to maintain a constant output irrespective of variations of input voltage, variations of load or variations in temperature. This is the circuit of a series voltage regulator. It is so called because the power transistor is connected in series with the load. It is designed for an output voltage of 10 volt and a load current of 500 milliampers. The circuit consists of two transistors, T1 and T2. T1 is a power transistor and it acts as an emitter follower. T2 is a low power transistor and it acts as a DC amplifier. Suppose there is an increase in the output voltage. This will cause an increase in the base emitter potential of T2. The emitter potential of T2 will remain a constant because of the Zener diode connected at the emitter. There is a corresponding increase in the collector current which will decrease the collector potential. This will result in a decrease in the emitter potential of T1 thus nullifying any change in the output. When there is a decrease in the output voltage, the base voltage of T2 will decrease and the emitter potential of T1 and T2 will increase. This will again nullify any change at the output. Thus, the output is maintained constant. These are the equipments used for setting up the circuit. This is a DC regulated variable power supply of 0 to 30 volt range. This is an ammeter of the range 0 to 2 ampere. This is a multimeter and this is a 1 kilo ohm rheostat. This is a circuit that we have set up. This is the high power transistor 2N3055 and this is a low power transistor which acts as an error amplifier and this is the Zener diode. Now let's analyze the working of the circuit. The power supply is turned on and the voltage is varied from 0 volt to a maximum range. It could be seen that once the output voltage has become 10 volt, it remains a constant irrespective of any variations in the input voltage. We have already verified the line regulation and now let's verify the load regulation. In order to do that, we must keep the power supply at a constant voltage. So we have kept the supply constant at 15 volt and at this point we can see that the output voltage is regulated at 10 volt. The rheostat acts as a load and we are varying the load from a low value to the maximum value. At this point the current is 0 amperes and the voltage is the output regulated voltage of 10 volt. Now let's vary the rheostat. seen that on crossing the designed value of 500 milliampers, the voltage has changed from the regulated value of 10 volt to 9 volt. We have already seen line regulation and load regulation and now let's plot the graph. Let's start with line regulation. In the case of line regulation, we take the input voltage Vi along the x-axis and the output voltage along the y-axis. In the ideal condition, the output voltage remains regulated at the 10 volt even if there is a change in the input voltage. But in the practical situation, after a particular point, we could see a slight deviation 
from the regulated voltage of 10 volt. Next is load regulation. Here we have the load current along the x-axis and the output voltage along the y-axis. In the ideal condition, the output voltage will remain a constant irrespective of any variation in the load current. But in the practical situation, after the value crosses the designed value of 500 mA, we could see a slight reduction in the output voltage. We can use these graphs to determine the percentage of line regulation and load regulation. I hope you found this section useful. Thank you and have a good day.